back for another episode of JS Garage TV. Thanks for joining us today. On today's episode, it's JS Team Day. So we're headed down under to visit some of our team riders from all around the world as they surf some fun wedgie beach breaks on some isolated coastline. Let's check it out. Choice Six O Monster Twenty Twenty. This board has lived in my Viva since twenty fifteen. I think this board, this model, this this design, definitely one of the most heats on it. Probably most highlight moments for sure. It's a 5.11 monster. I uh, have been working with Jace a little bit on it, but these I'm trying to just get a bit more, a bit more volume and speed and stuff out of a 5.11. Oh just so I've got a bit more options on the face and uh, a bit more speed to start with, and it seems to be working really well, but uh, still experimenting, but I'm loving it. Little R and D board, full carbon, couple of little secret fiddly bits inside it, but I've been loving it, so stay tuned. The first ever tractor I got, I want to say, was in the year two thousand. Yeah, I came up here for schoolies and Jason made me a board and I remember surfing it at the Spit. The first time I ever surfed it and just like immediately feeling the extra speed and kind of maneuverability and probably two years after that I started riding his boards full time and yeah, I've been super lucky to have two, two decades worth of incredible boards, good relationship, yeah, and just have that you know, being on tour, just have that kind of trust and confidence in your boards. Like I've never, honestly never really questioned my boards and you know, knowing exactly what my board was gonna do and that was a great feeling. My high fi that I have now, I've had it for like six years I think and it's still like my favorite board. So it's like going yellow. This is the first year she's starting to go yellow but that's my favorite. Monster A, yeah, it was the Monster A. I remember riding my first time and then, and then I was just like, that's why Australian has a good style because they don't have to do anything to get a speed, you know? Like, if you stand up here and your board works, you don't have to chase the wave or whatever. So as soon as I stood up, I remember thinking, I was like, that's why they, like, Joel doesn't move. Like, Joel just stand up and, like, do.
you going to ride a shortboard again? Oh, no, no. I'm starting to. I'm going back to, it's just one too many fins in it yeah. for me. But <laughs> um, no, I've been surfing a shortboard a bit. It's been good. Something different. Yeah, I mean, I love my twins and I love all, you know, just unconventional stuff, I suppose. So it's been, it's been a good little experiment, but it's nice sometimes, I guess, you get back to when you want to jam a turn and really get stuck into a wave. It's nice to jump on a conventional shortboard and lay it over again. This is the new Mr. Bennett's model, JS foil board. Yeah, it's been really cool working with Paul and Jason to design these boards and and uh, yeah, this is sort of the evolution. It's pretty exciting for, you know, the this, this, this sport of foiling, I guess. It was so fun out there. It just need, you just need to be able to get up and then once you're up and you can get around out the back, it's, it's like sick as you're just snowboarding in the ocean. It's, it's unreal. Six step offs and everyone's ripping. Oh, yeah. Best board I've ever had. It was so good. It was, had speed. You get so much drive with it, and yeah, I loved that board. Such a sick board. It's really got really good flow, and I can feel like I can really rip in with it. And it's 16.38. Monster 20. Copy of my my good one. Uh, six and a half. 19 and a half, a little bit more than two and a half. It's like my magic one. Pretty much the one I, I ride every time in the contest. Just makes everything easier, you know. Yeah. I get to the, the the section easier. I don't have to force anything. It just goes, you know. I think I found I found the right one. So now, uh, just get a bunch of those ones and <laughs> I'm set up. Yeah, I've been riding Monster 2020, five, eight, or sometimes five, eight and a half. I actually got Forget Me Not for um, this Gold Coast event, and that was pretty magic yeah. for me, yeah. This one's a 510, Monster 20, and this one's a 511. I don't know what, maybe Monster 22. Maybe a forget me not. I don't know.
Inga. Inga is so good at driving. He does it every day. Yeah, he puts, he, every time he's ever stepped me off on a wave, I think it's a good wave. There's Lucas on the back, we're just talking about just watching all the boys riding, just riding the boards and just having it in real life. I mean, you can watch footage and that, that's one thing, but to see, be five feet from someone, just watching them blast upside down, so sick. Yeah, I just think the experience that everyone gets from doing this, and even myself as a shaper, just watching all the styles, all the different types of boards. Um, that's been written over the last couple of days and just really, really impressed. Wow, so another great episode of JS Garage TV. This one covered all the spectrum, from the young Groms to the tour pros to the legends like Luke. But as JS said himself, watching all the pro styles and the different types of boards was really impressive. So, takeaway from Team JS. Forget me not too, Monster 2020 seem to be favorites. So if you're liking what the Monster 2020 has to offer, but are looking for something with a little more float or forgiveness, consider looking at the Monster 2020 in our Easy Rider Dimensions, which we also offer in many of our other models. And on the next episode of JS Crowd TV, we'll be going out to Waco with Connor Coffin and Oliver Kurtz, as well as some free surfers that are part of the Tractor Board Riders Club. Looking forward to seeing them mingle with the pros. And Nutty and I will be there too. It's gonna be an amazing episode. We'll see you next time.